Energy is a conserved quantity. It cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred between systems or changed from one form to another. There are three types of systems that we tend to look at in physics. The first is what we call an open system. In an open system, matter and energy are free to flow into or out of the system. Some examples of open systems could be, say, the human body. So humans eat food, that's matter going in. They also breathe, which is matter going in and out. And they go to the toilet, which is matter going out. And they're also constantly exchanging thermal energy with their environments. As there's both matter flow and energy flow, that makes humans an open system. Now, a closed system is a system where only energy is allowed to flow in or out of the system. So the matter is fixed. For example, a closed water bottle. No air or water could get in or out of the water bottle, but energy can still be exchanged with the environment. The water could heat up or cool down if it's a hot or cold day. The final type of system is an isolated system. In an isolated system, neither matter nor energy are able to flow in or out of the system. So there are no perfectly isolated systems in the real world, but there are a number of systems which are quite close. For example, a closed thermos will trap a hot beverage and keep the heat from escaping it. So it will be the same temperature all day. So now let's consider a closed system. There's only two ways that you can add energy or take energy out of this system. The first is what we call heat. And the symbol for heat is Q. Heat is the flow of thermal energy from hot objects to cold objects. So if this object was brought in contact with a hotter object, then heat would flow into the object. Or if it was brought into contact with a colder object, then heat would flow out of this closed system. The other way is work. Work occurs when an object's energy increases because of forces applied to it, or the energy can decrease because it is applying forces to another object. So for example, let's suppose that a person is going to throw a tennis ball. As the person throws the ball, they are applying a force to it, increasing its kinetic energy via work.